All right, so this is, there's a three part little series here to conscious communication. This is part one, from my perspective. So everything is happening in your life from your perspective. So if you wanna share something that feels like it's hard to communicate, if you start by saying, from my perspective, it takes a lot of the charge away. So everything is happening from your point of view. People are not experiencing life the same way that you are exactly. So by sharing from my perspective, you know, when you speak like that, it makes me feel like a turd snake is different than you make me feel like a turd snake, right? Puts them on the defense. So this is part one of conscious communication. Just try it from my perspective x it makes things more loving okay part two conscious communication pillow talk the story i'm making up is so if you're going to communicate something challenging or hard part one was from my perspective part two is the story i'm making up is that you don't love me the story i'm making up is x so again it takes the charge away so if you're about to communicate to someone say look the story I'm making up here is that you don't love me very much and I feel like, you know, a turd snake. Yeah, that's it. So preface the hard conversation with the story I'm making up because you are making up a story about your past, about the future. We're all just meaning making, story making machines. So try this one for communication, the story take away the charge and be more loving <laughs> okay this is part three of conscious communication this part is a part of me feels so this is my favorite one and my buddy johan introduced me to all three of these so when you're about to share something hard you say a part of me feels which is different from my perspective in the story i'm making up which is part one and two but if, you, if it's just a part of you that feels abandoned or betrayed, then the other person, again, won't be on the defense. So when you share something hard, you say, look, a part of me feels that you should pick up your socks and not leave the house like a, a smash box. Or a part of me feels disrespected rather than you make me feel disrespected or why are you disrespecting me? Does that make sense? I feel that this is one of the powerful keys to conscious communication. A part of me feels loving.